Hello everyone, this is please press the like button, Defense Politics Asia, please press the like button. And uh, this is the quick update for Mikolive Front. Uh, latest update, the Russians have launched a counter-offensive or offensive, whatever you want to call it. And they have captured uh, Tavrishke, Tavrishke, Myro Lyubivka. Kasilivka as well as uh, Klapaya. So uh, for Klapaya, I have not listed them as uh, lost to the Ukrainian. Uh, so, but it was mentioned as captured because uh, just around now, uh, maybe 12 hours ago or a bit or a bit more, there is this uh, information that the Ukrainians have launched an offensive and they have captured Blalhodate, Kasilivka and Klapaya. Uh, but I'm not sure that information is correct or not because uh, these two locations have been uh, previously captured by the ukrainians uh and uh the previous report that i've done is that the the russia uh, the russians have uh, redrawn from kasilivka to chernobyevka and then they actually push back and take back klapaya so the front line was here so so which makes this information that they have captured Blahobdate and uh, Kaiselivka and Klapaya kind of weird. It's, it's a little of a contradiction because uh, it's also from the pro-Ukrainian source that the Ukrainians actually uh, beat back the Russians into a redrawal to Chernobyevka and that will also mean they have captured Kaiselivka. So uh, that's kind of a weird situation. So anyway, this uh, this is the latest update uh, that I have. Uh, I do want to clarify that uh, do not take my information as actually uh, as actual truth or reality on the ground. Uh, whatever I get is from open source, is from information uh, that is available out there with contribution from maybe hundreds of different people uh, posting online. So uh, my information can be wrong if they post wrong information. So I do my best to filter through and uh, to 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 report on whatever that is uh, makes more sense. So this looks like a major um, counter offensive, and this counter acts with the progress of by the Ukrainians on this side because U Ukraine uh, yesterday or the day before, uh, the day before, mentioned they have captured uh, Novo Petrivka as well as the two uh, uh, villages that is just nearby west of Snehurivka. So while the Ukrainians attack this way, the Russians attack this way. So. And this also kind of uh, invalidated the entire offensive uh, of the Ukrainians because the Ukrainians have been trying to push this direction and this way. Uh, but it looks like uh, this entire uh, offensive is now mooted or has been uh, liquidated. So not looking good on this region. And uh, for this this part, uh, some of you are not sure about uh, Helisinov. So what happened is that uh, earlier in the war, the Russians have created a stronghold around here and they used this location to actually bombard uh, Mykolaiv. Uh, so there is totally no news of the Ukrainians taking this place and literally there's actually no news at all from this place. So I left it there because uh, I don't want to just remove it uh, just because I didn't see anything. Uh, so anyway, uh, so don't don't care too much about this one, this region. Uh, the focus is, should be here. And uh, if there's any news about Helis enough, I will let you know. So this is a quick update on the Mikolai front. And uh, please press subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I'll see you in the next update.